Tucked away in the huge QMC, the small dedicated virology lab team helping to keep people safe. These are the coronavirus swab samples, the virus deactivated. They're from PCR tests, they're the sort you get in the drive through centres. These are from patients and staff. The workloads up a third. We've got a wonderful team of staff, fortunately, that volunteer to do additional hours between 6am and 10pm. So we're constantly processing samples to make sure that um, people can get their results. They've been absolutely amazing. They've been working flat out since last March. Nottingham Hospital set up their own testing station set up by the sexual health team experienced in organising mass screening. Well, I think we all end up doing things we didn't expect in the pandemic and we've got a great car park here and I think we're all, we've got a team that are also really good at used to doing lots of swabs, so we started doing that. On selected higher risk wards, staff are offered regular PCR tests and now there's a regime of rapid results testing, lateral flows. Yes, we started lateral flow in late December of 2020 and we've identified 239 staff that were asymptomatic, um, so showed no symptoms at all, but actually were COVID positive, which allowed us obviously then to, um, them to, to isolate and for us to minimise the risk to our patients and staff in the areas that they work. This taxi driver was having a coronavirus test ahead of an operation. Even with all the testing, there can be outbreaks in hospital. Yes, it does happen, but we um, react to that individual case and the effect that that might have in the environment that they're actually in. So if it's an award environment, we hold regular day-to-day -day meetings and we plan together collectively across the organisation with infection prevention and control. As no vaccine is ever 100% effective, tests are likely to be a big part of living with the corona threat in the months ahead. Rob Sissons, BBC East Midlands Today, Nottingham.